Hello community, the new Lama 3.2 vision. Let's have a look and compare to Pixtral 12b on the left side. So we have an image and I say, hey, generate a simple table with three columns, mathematics, physics and chemistry, and extract all the data. And you have here Pixtral 12b on the left side and our Lama 3.2 on the right side with the 90b version. And the 90b version is not able to create a table with three columns. My goodness, come on. But hopefully it did the correct data extraction. So let's have a look. Subject mathematics is correct. Physics is correct. It's in now in rows. But okay, let's see at least if the data. Pixtral was able to do it correctly. Three columns. Beautiful. Yes, those are all the categories. This looks interesting. Now let's evaluate the numerical values. And I did it for you. Four mistakes. Please validate yourself. But okay, four mistakes. And what happened here to Lama 3.2 Vision 90B instruct? So in the first half, we already have three mistakes. This does not look good. And if you go down to chemistry, and we include now chemistry, and we have another, oh well, four, okay, five. So forget it. And I say, hey, some of your data are incorrect. Correct yourself. Go step by step. Be careful. Take your time. You know everything that we do here in prompt engineering. And Pixtrel on the left side is already done and the 90B is already, yes, I double checked it. Thank you for pointing out the mistake. Of course, Lama, I know you make mistakes. And we have here, okay, three mistakes from Pixtrel 12B. But I say, hey, some rules are still wrong. Do not assume that the color coding is correct. Only focus on the textual and the numerical data. And then we have it comes back, Pixtral 12B comes back here on the left side, it says, I apologize for the oversight. Okay, comes back again. Yes, we have a new beautiful table with three columns correct. And do you want to know the result? Five mistakes. So do not ask to validate the result here. Five mistakes. Uh, that's not really what we are looking for, yeah? Hey, but what about Lama 3.290B? Let's have a look. Here we are now. I apologize for the mistakes, says Lama 2. I have something new. And here in the first half, we have four mistakes. This is not looking good. And if we scroll down then to chemistry, how many mistakes you think we have added here? If you look at chemistry, hey, only three. <laughs> People ask me, what about GPT-4 Omni? How good is that GPT-4 Omni? Now we have the same image. We have the same textual prompt. And now we look at this. Ah, oh, we have a Python and something. This is nice. But this doesn't help us if we just construct a panda data frame because we are talking here about image understanding, so it's about extraction of data points. So, do we get a table? We got a table. Yes, beautiful. A table with three columns. Yes. Okay, I've generated this. And you know, want to know if this is correct? Just two mistakes. My goodness, only two mistakes. And if I ask to correct it, it got it right on the second try. Let's now reinterrupt test 11B versus 90B Lama 3.22. I have a description of the image and try to generate here a data, whatever you can do. We go with vision 11B on the left side and the vision 90B instruct on the right side. And you see vision 11B is already done. 90B just started thinking. Yeah, but okay, so let's see. Okay, let's go with here the Lama 3.2 Vision 11B here first. Meta analysis of cognitive task. No, it is chain of thought. Okay, it had no content for this, no problem. X axis is correct, Y axis is correct, yes. Could identify here the graph, the data point, the interesting observation. Oh no, conclusion. Mm, not really a conclusion. What do you think? Let's look for the Lama 3.2 Vision 90B instruct. And we have the cognitive task. Yeah. Text classification, metalinguistic, comment, reasoning, multi hop question and answer, Matt. Yeah. So it could read here the description. Beautiful. A comprehensive meta analysis of COT improvements. And I say, hey, continue to exercise some kind of table in the data visualization. I want to have the results. What you make out of those data, of this data visualization. And, oh, okay, no, no. I mean, it identified here the category, right? Okay, logical reasoning, mathematics, symbolic, and algorithmic reasoning. But the data, the mean effects as an standard deviation on the confidence interval. These are not the data I'm looking for. As a human, you would look for complete other data structures. 
So if you just give it a free hand, no, it fails. Code transcription. We all copy code, no? I mean, I, at least I copy some code. So here we have it. I copied some code, some beautiful code. And I say here, analyze the code segment in the image, you know, copy the code, write it, and then try to explain the code itself. And if it's possible, define a use case. What would you use it for? Lama 3.2 Vision 11B is already ready. Yes, perfectly. Yes, and Vision 90B is starting to sync. Yeah, it's done. Beautiful. So let's have a look. Code breakdown. You see, there are differences. Look at the difference. 90B could read the first two lines. 11B just ignored the first lines. That's funny. But you see, at a record, this is understood that it is a comment. 90B did not understood that this is a comment. So Lama 3.2 made here a significant mistake, but hey, look, there's a streaming true line missing in the 11B. Ah, I'd put it here in the line before. Well, 90B understood that this was not it, but you know, this is not easy because there was a visual cutoff in my image. Because look here, there's the last character is missing. So this is here for the AI to interpret this. 90B got it wrong, 11B got it. No, 90B got it right and 11B got it wrong. So what else we have? Yeah, you see there's a semicolon more. This is a difference here in the notation between 11B and 90B. So be real careful. There are some subtle differences, but yeah. Okay, cannot understand that this is a comment, never mind. Okay, but you know what? Let's have a look at the explanation. Let's see what the system made out of this code. Bedrock LLM agent, Lexpot agent. Yeah, okay. On the left side, much nicer structure. Look on the left side. The 11B is nice in the presentation, I think. Yep, receives a request. Beautiful. Possible use case. Look on the left side. Possible use case. It's missing on the right side. The 90B is not did not answer our question. How is this possible? Hey, Lama 3.2, you missed my question. 11B, yes, really nice. I would go with 11B, honestly. Image description. We go 11B versus 90B. This is what you are asking for. And this is a simple graph. This is what you have and when you present to your investors, to your people, to your staff, this is simple. And I say, hey, analyze the data point and analyze the picture. Tell me what it is. It is a 4K image, by the way. So let's see. 11B on the left side, 90B on the right side, and here we go. 11B is already done. Conclusion. 90B is, yeah, it's coming up. Yeah, 90B found the way. Yeah, okay. Now this looks a little bit, look at this. Look at this interpretation. So it found multiple data points here, no? But if you look at this, this is not correct. I mean, neither of them are correct. We have here, mat 72 b instruct, 72 b instruct, yeah. But the amount of 72 b look, there is an instruct with 84%, and the next one is with 85%. 85.9, yeah. Look, the next one is a chain of thought. Chain of thought is not evil in the graph. This is a pure hallucination. Yeah, two have the identical title. Here we have three with identical title and the hallucination. And look, just two lines down, there's another 2.7. Q1 doesn't even exist. It's hallucinated. So the names are hallucinated. The numbers are hallucinated. We have multiple duplex entries. So this is too complex for an AI. 